How to convert your WordPress and WooCommerce websites into mobile applications. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can convert your WordPress or WooCommerce site into an application. Now I've tried and tested out so many different plugins for this, but my favorite has to be App My Site. So App My Site is a no-code mobile app builder which allows you to launch applications instantaneously. It's built for both iOS and Android platforms, and there's no technical knowledge that is required. You can skip all the complex development and directly build your own application, whether it's a WordPress app, a regular website to application, WooCommerce app, custom app, or soon coming feature, which is converting your Shopify store into an application. You can do it all by using App My Site. So let's get started. Now, before we get started, we do want to take a look at the pricing and they have three different price plans. So this depends on the way you're wanting to use it. So first off, you have pay per app, which allows you to create one application or basically be charged whenever you are creating an application. Then you have the unlimited workspace where you can manage unlimited applications in one workspace. Then you have the agency white label where you can launch your own white label application. So what this basically means is that you can launch your own web app development business, which basically means you can provide this service for other people under your own branding. So to get started, you want to head on over to appmysite.com and then click on get started. Once you click on get started, you are going to sign up on this platform. So we're just going to be waiting for our sign up to be completed. We're going to have to wait a couple of seconds for our verification. And once this has been done, we can click on create an account or we can just use Google to sign up. I'm just going to be signing up using Google for a quick and easy sign up. Now that I have created my account using Google, we're just going to wait until it can redirect us back to the web app. Now from here, you have three options. We're going to go with the paper app because if you're managing and creating one app at a time, this is honestly the best for you. Then you're going to click on get started. Once you click on get started, the first thing is going to be to give your website a name or to give your application a name. So for us, it's going to be called walk main and then we're going to choose the app type. So because we are importing either a WordPress or a WooCommerce application, you're going to select either one of these options. If you are using WordPress, then select WordPress app. If you're using WooCommerce, then select WooCommerce app. Then you're going to enter your website name, the website URL, whichever one you are using. So we're going to open this up. We're going to copy our website URL like this and then click on create. Once you do that, this will be the first step of building or converting your application. So this is our website right now and we're going to wait. So from here, it is asking us to convert our website and to choose our colors. You guys can see it has given us a color scheme, but we can customize this however. I'm going to click on edit and I want to go with something that is kind of similar. So I'm going to go with the selection color like this. And then I had to edit this. I'm going to go with the orange type of color over here and then click on done. And then for the other one, again, I'm going to change like the highlight color to a very light orange color as well. A beige -ish orange like this and then I'm going to click on continue if you want you can directly click on get my website color and it's going to try to detect your website color you can even click on retry and it will again reanalyze your website and then proceed with matching colors then I'm just going to click on continue once I've done that this is what my dashboard is going to look like so on the left you guys can see you have first off a pop-up for upgrading because this allows you to add free building with you know no branding but we're going to go into design and we can click on theme on the left. So this is what our headers and buttons are going to look like. Then we have splash and then the app icon, all of which we can customize. Then you also have your navigation. So you can click on home screen to see what your home screen is going to look like, as well as your bottom bar and your menu. So I don't want to add a blog section. Um, I'm going to hide this or delete this. And then we have our web view. Have our pages that are going to be imported 
And then after that, you can preview your application. Now in the preview, you will see what your mobile app ideally is going to look like. You can test the app on a real device as well. So click to start. I'm going to do a click to start on both. And it's installing the application right now. We're going to not allow, don't allow. And this is our application currently. Obviously, we haven't, you know, properly imported our content. Now, the next step is to actually start adding all of the content that we want. So in this, you can see on the left, you have a option called your design elements and your connectivity. So you can click on install plugin, obviously, and then you're going to install the plugin within your WordPress site. So you can click on download plugin on the top and this will open up WordPress and it's going to open up the WordPress dashboard, which you're going to install this plugin in. So just go into your WordPress dashboard and then go into plugins, click on add plugin, app my site, and you will see the app my site plugin over here. Ideally, if you cannot find it, you can click on this, click on download plugin, open this up, click on download. And once you download the zip file of this plugin, you can upload that here. So you're going to click on upload plugin, choose file, and then download the zip file here and then click on install now. Once you do that, this will be installed and then you're going to click on activate plugin. Once you click on activate plugin, this will be activated. So if I scroll down, I should be able to see app my site. Now I can click on view details and view my plugin. So this has been activated and I should be able to find it on the left like so. So it's at the bottom left for me and we have our license key. So we're going to click on get my key to actually receive our key here. I'm going to close this out and we can click on generate to generate our license key. So it has to be generated and once this has been generated and I'm just going to click on verify. And we're going to have to copy and paste this license key over here, which you guys can see actually has been created. We're going to verify our connection. Again, we're going to have to open up the application. And this is why I like to do this on both of my platforms together. We're going to again click on get my key. Doing this on the same window just saves me a little bit of time. Otherwise, this can be a really laggy process. I'm just going to copy this. Finally, it has been copied like this and I'm going to click on submit. Once I click on submit over here, then I can go on and then click on verify and this will be verified and my content can now be imported. And that is how you can convert your WordPress site into an application. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.